Once we have our data organized and structured and all of our actions ready to go, and we've designed our user experience and made sure that our screens are helping our users to be more productive, we can start to leverage automations. Automations allow us to make the computers work for us. And we can use them to construct complex workflows that are triggered by actions inside of our application, by receiving webhooks from exterior to our application, and carry out jobs that can save us time and energy. When you first arrive in the automations tab, if you have no automations, you see a big blue button that says create automation, which is equivalent to pressing this plus sign up here. So the first thing I'll do is I'll name my automation. So I'll say new appointment added. And we can see there are six categories of triggers for our automations. Information about a row on a table, whether it was created, updated, or deleted. A webhook exterior to the application. An app action. Now this might be a button, or it might be in our row action, something that we might want to do there. Or a cron trigger, some kind of time-based trigger. I'm going to change this to be row created, and I'll save. I then have to tell BuddyBase which table I'm going to listen to. So I'm going to listen to the appointments table. And I can filter this and have some kind of filter to say, well, maybe I only want to listen for pets that are of type dog, or maybe I only want to listen for um, if the date is after a particular thing. So I can set up some filters here that might be that might be relevant. And then I can add a step. Now an automation workflow can have multiple steps. For each step, we can interact with some external applications like Discord or Slack if they're your messaging platforms. Zapier, Make, and AnyDen are all um, automation platforms. So if you've got, so if you have complex automation workflows you already have set up, then BuddyBase can send data into those. We can we can do any of these other things. We could create another row. We can delete a row. We can update, we can do some scripting, some backend logging, or even if we've got AI set up inside of our application, we can add a, an AI prompt as a step here. So let's do that. Let's create an AI prompt that's going to um, look at the reason, and then I can use the reason from my previous thing, and create an email for the practitioner who will be dealing with this. We are a vet, and the reason will be related to that one. And then I'm going to have some email. So the next step we'll add is an email step. So I'll send this to, so these can be dynamic or, or static variables. So I'm going to send to, in this case, I'll just send to test at kevincunningham.co.uk. I'll send from um, buddybase at buddybase.com. And I can add calendar invites or even um, attachments that someone might have. So maybe a, um, a PDF report for this particular pet or something here. So the, the email subject I'll set up as new appointment and I'll hit this um, lightning bolt. I'll say, hi. Um, and then I'll um, add the OpenAI's response. I'll say, have fun, the app. I'll save. So now I'm going to finish and test my automation. I'll need to add some fields. So I'll say my appointment date is going to be then. And I'll add the appointment, the reason for my appointment, my dog is scratching itself lots. I'll run the test. So that's going to trigger OpenAI and get a response. It's then going to take that response, construct an email and send that email to my client. So let's check my email. So two tests. Now I'll probably go, I would go back and I'd check some of these things out again. I'd update this prompt to make sure it was there, but I want to show you that I can send off to a prompt and then email. We could, we want to tidy this up a bit later on. To be able to use the automation, we need to publish our application. So I'll publish my application and then I'll go and look at it from the front end. So in appointments, I'll create a new row. I'll say here, I want to go on this date. Reason, um, I, my cat has eaten a bird. Um, my cat might be called Star. I'll save this. Row has been saved. And as that row is saved, it will trigger my backend automation. Um, get a prompt set up and then it'll send an email. So the email I get back, urgent attention needed for cat after bird consumption. Hope the message finds you well. I'm writing for you a situation regarding my cat who's recently eaten a bird and we have that ready to go. You have multiple automations that you have inside of your application. 
You can activate and deactivate current automations. You can update test details to run them again. And they'll be grouped on the left-hand side by, by type. So row created, row deleted, and the rest. Leveraging automations can allow you to speed up your work, more reliably follow up on events as they happen, and keep informed without having to continually try to check as a ticket moves through a workflow or as an appointment is booked, carried out, or followed up done. We've looked at one possible workflow. We'll look at a few more in the next few videos.